thousands of stolen vehicles in Southern California alone each year. But it is not a common occurrence for a soda truck to get hijacked in broad daylight. The driver of this 7-Up delivery truck is racing on city streets, the police in hot pursuit. Police learn that he has stolen the truck from a market parking lot while its regular driver was making a delivery. You can see a number of cans of 7-Up exploding as they hit the ground here in the West Valley area. Also, it looks like it may have hit some cars going through another stop sign. This driver has shown reckless disregard for the safety of the motoring public, continues to race out of control. Right now we have LAPD officers, at least seven units directly behind the suspect, as well as a police helicopter. We're about a thousand feet over the ground there in the number two lane going through another intersection. That time he had the light that we've seen uh, several cans and cases of 7-Up fall from this truck and some of them have hit cars. Those are dangerous missiles. The driver will get you try to get you a tighter shot here. There you can see the driver uh, occasionally reaching out of the window of this 7-Up uh, truck. He appears to know that he's being followed by news helicopters. At least seven or so LAPD units behind this suspect were continuing to move in the West Valley heading to Northridge. It's number one lane. There's a tighter shot. He's uh, gestured toward the news helicopters. He's aware of our presence. Giving, okay, there you can see he's motioning again. This driver is very erratic. We don't know if he's on drugs. Uh, officers have not been able to uh, give us that information. They do not know the identity of this heart, uh, truck jacker. Tighter shot, leaning out of the truck right now, gesturing with his finger. I guess we're number one. He's in the number one lane, still motoring at a high speed on surface streets here in the West Valley. We're in the direction of Northridge. There you can see passing underneath the freeway through another intersection, passing the uh, Golden State Freeway, continuing eastbound at a high rate of speed using all lanes. At least seven LAPD units up behind the suspect. Tighter shot. There he's wearing a plaid shirt, giving a hand gesturing toward the news helicopters. He's a male, Caucasian, uh, dirty blonde hair, mustache, uh, giving us the high sign with his left hand. Uh, he is the only person in this, this truck. This is just one of several thousand pursuits each year. We'll come back to it later, but first. But now, let's go back to our hijacked 7-Up truck. He is still on the move through city streets. 7-Up pursuit is continuing. He's now on the opposite side of traffic, going through an intersection, now making a left turn with very dangerous pursuit. Fortunately, we have not seen any additional 7-Up uh, bottles or uh, cans falling from the truck. There's a tighter shot of the uh, suspect. Yep, he's been leaning out of the truck from time to time, gesturing toward officers and toward the news helicopters. We're now in a residential neighborhood, apartment houses. He's on the opposite side of the traffic, now the left lane, coming up on a red light. Okay, he's gone through the red light. Oh, look at that, look at that. My God, my missiles. Watch what happens when he rounds this corner. Look closely. You can see pedestrians diving out of the way of this onslaught of soda pop projectiles. Nordoff, there you saw a As our wayward truck driver continues, let's look at another. Meanwhile, our 7 Up truck driver is still on the move, maneuvering the 15 ton delivery truck recklessly through city streets. He's now moving across the intersection. This crazed driver has put numerous people at risk, almost uh, hitting several vehicles, hitting at least one. And also, we've seen loads of 7 Up cans fly from this truck, and some of them have narrowly missed people on the sidewalk. Driver is now in the number one lane. We get a tighter shot. There you can see he's wearing a plaid shirt. He appears to be erratic at times and seems to be doing something. Now with his left hand, he's gestured out the window again. Number one lane coming up on another intersection. Slowing down. Crossing over all lanes of the road through the intersection. We have a patrol unit running interference. There he's moving across. Okay, continuing. By this time, residents and business owners have become aware of the pursuit and come out to take a look for themselves still overhead police air unit overhead we have uh, coming up ahead another intersection 
suspect's number one lane passing an RTD bus going across the intersection. Fortunately, officers have been able to keep people out of the intersection, protecting the innocent citizens that they're sworn to protect. Now he's crossing over the uh, island, coming across another intersection, passing another vehicle. Suspect is still out of control. We don't know how much gas is in this delivery truck. This is a hijack 7-up truck uh, stolen from a market parking lot. There you can see the rotor blades of another news helicopter in our shot. The pursuit has attracted every news helicopter in the city as well and is being broadcast live. Still driving the 7-up truck. Number two lane coming up on another intersection. Cross traffic, cross traffic slowing down. It's gone through the interstate. Oh, my. Oh, accident. T.A. This is the second traffic accident. Another person hit by this suspect. This guy is felony hit and run. Uh, two instances of that, as well as assault with a deadly weapon and hijacking of a delivery truck. This man faces at least 40 years in the prison for the crimes he's committed, unless he's got some sort of medical reason or he's just plain nuts. Still driving. Number two lane, number one lane. While the soda hijacker continues his journey San Fernando Valley, number one police lane. have still not okay, stopped the wayward 7-Up truck. Trying to make a left turn. He slammed on his brakes. You can see the brakes smoking. Now crossing over all lanes, opposite direction. Now back his several-ton truck is a dangerous weapon as it speeds through busy city streets. Lane. Suspect narrowly hit another vehicle. He slammed on his brakes, and they worked. Truck is a very heavy truck. Okay, now crossing over into the intersection, cross traffic, left turn. Oh, almost hit a pedestrian. More 7-Up cans flying on the opposite side of the traffic right now. Okay, he's back on the right side. We're flying over. We're going to be making a, a right turn, finishing our right turn. There's another intersection coming up ahead. He is crossed over, crossed over, now taking a residential street. There you can see another 7-Up can flying out of the truck. He is in a residential section of the city right now here in Northridge, now making a left-hand turn into the residential neighborhood, going straight ahead. We don't know, generally, uh, suspects do drive to their neighborhoods. We don't know if he has a neighborhood uh, a, a residence here. or a friend Before here. we show you the dramatic end of this unique pursuit, we take you to yet another strange pursuit. Well, that's it for this edition of Eyes in the Sky. Just a small sample of the madness that is Los Angeles. As long